Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. After all this, I thought, maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy from another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. God. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? 
Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like Father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Fair's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing, Ray? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruption. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. You ready? Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. The god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. 
So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. No! And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his land of his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Yonarm town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. This black hole. No, I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Naturally. That easy. No. It's kind of hoping though. So what now? <laughs> Brother, the winds of hell. The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Hellheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick though, with a little help from Brock. <laughs> That's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for water.
glad some friendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. No. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. that vault that set you off it is not important seemed important to you it was a rash impulse 
You need not dwell on my failings. Wow, that was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. Go! Saws were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hathi. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. I don't see another trap for the... Uh... Winds of Hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look.
You know, for someone so loved, he sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? Clever. 